give you guys a little bit of an update on our rabbit waters um, over the winter we just kind of switched the bottles because it's easier with all the freezing and us not having a water uh, heater for them to uh, to put in their water but I just want to show you guys something these are uh, seal rings for a uh, I forget what size the smaller size of water hose I think it's five eighths yeah five eighths and this is the rubber Walmart seal ring and the only reason I still have this one is because it uh, it was the best one I threw all the other ones away but the rubber uh, seal rings from Walmart do not work do not get those they crack in one year here's a good example right here one I'm gonna have to replace tonight see that it's cracked busted won't hold water all right I'll show you guys kind of an update on how I'm doing these but then I'm gonna have to let you get back to what you're doing hold on a sec so here's how we're doing this we are taking a what is a half inch what they call CPVC see if I can zoom in and get a shot of that CPVC half inch and one of the washers shove it all the way back on it you want to get the 90 these are about 30 cents a piece at your big box uh, home improvement store and then you want to get a 45 I get a 45 just because I am crazy like that I like to get a 45 it kind of hangs off better when you're hanging when you hang them off the edge see that one's not hung off the edge but when I hang them off the edge the 45 sticks out a little bit farther it gives it a little bit of a clearance when you hang a bucket off the edge so what I'm doing is I'm taking this and I'm actually knife cutting out a nice hole to match this trace it with the sharpie knife cut it out slip that through the hole then on the outside of the bucket I put this one on that side so I'm trying to do this one like that mount them shove it really tight and these I don't glue because I take them apart and clean them and if you shove them together real tight they'll stay then you take your piece of uh, hose and this hose is half inch outer diameter three three eighths inch inner diameter and I get the by 20 foot and you shove it into the end there and when you shove it back in there it gets a good seal then you take a hose clamp stainless steel hose clamp I get the quarter inch to five eighths and let's see one more I've done that okay and to get a good seal you have to use hose clamps not just zip ties I was originally using zip ties and I was getting a bad seal but you see you tighten her down right there just like that and this one is actually leaking from my T there believe it or not it's causing it to leak but that's okay we'll figure that out you know no big deal uh, alright that's all we got for you guys comment subscribe let us know what you think see you later